in business, the only way to survive is to make money. And the only way to make money is to sell your product, process, or service to customers. But in this game, we're limited to our reach with certain customers because we may know them, we may know of them, or we may have no connection to them in general. And so that kind of basic paradigm or basic maxim is the foundation for this video because here I'm going to be breaking down the differences between hot, warm, and cold sales and how and why I think that people should really focus on developing their skills when it comes to cold selling approaches because the majority of the action and the majority of growth opportunity for your business lies with people that don't know you even exist. So let's just get started with the first breakdown. Like what are the definitions of hot, cold, and warm sales? So beginning off with hot sales. Hot sales is the process of selling something to somebody you directly know. It's that simple. Uh, uh, an example of this would be me selling my book to a friend of mine. I'm selling my product to somebody who I know directly and have a close and intimate relationship with. Moving forward to the second definition, warm sales. So a warm sales opportunity is selling something to somebody that you have an indirect connection or indirect relationship with. So an example of this would be me selling a book to a friend of a friend. So I have a friend who has introduced me to a friend of theirs who's potentially interested in my book. So I leverage that connection to get a warm introduction to somebody who could become a potential customer. And then the third definition would be cold sales. So cold selling is basically you selling your product or service to somebody that you have absolutely zero connection to. So this would be me selling my book to a, a random local bookstore who knows nothing about me and my background as an author. So that's just a quick high level definition of hot, warm, and cold sales. But moving forward, I want to explain why I believe um, focusing more on cold sales is actually more beneficial to you as a business owner in the long term. Now, one of the cold hard truths about business and about relationships in general is that every relationship starts off cold. Every day we're meeting new people who know nothing about us. Just think about some of your best friends, some of your business partners, some of your teammates, or other people in life who you consider to be a hot lead or a hot connection in your network. I guarantee that at some point, that person knew nothing about you and you were connected to them vicariously through another person, through a life situation, or the fact that you have a common interest, your life paths crossed. But before that, everything was cold. And over time, that relationship built up to a warm connection and then ultimately to a hot connection. But just realize that every relationship in life starts out cold. So, that's something that you should never uh, forget because I think too many people are obsessed on not just hot leads, but this whole idea of warm connections, of having some insider or knowing somebody who could put you on to a business or a sales opportunity. But just the fact of the matter is just, just look at life as kind of like this iceberg and look at your relationships as like an iceberg. And we, we all know the iceberg principle is just like only the tip of the iceberg is visible. The majority, 80% of the iceberg is underwater. Well, just think about that tip of the iceberg as your hot and warm network or the hot and warm, uh, uh, your hot and warm connections. 
but below the surface are the are the cold leads that you don't know exist. And when you're just thinking about business, it's like the greatest opportunity out there is to connect with people that don't even know you. And so for me, as somebody who's used to coming up with nothing, who who ha doesn't have a lot of connections, who never had a lot of connections, I got really comfortable with being uncomfortable. And that uncomfortability was essentially, you know, reaching out to people who didn't know me. And I did that because I knew that I had no choice because I never had a lot of connections. And so I had to reach out to people who I never knew and I had to pitch them my product or service. And that's how I ultimately grew my business. But just understand that like that cold um, network, those cold connections are the people who you should spend the most time focusing to focusing on because at the end of the day you're going to tap out uh your hot leads you're going to tap out your warm leads and eventually you're going to have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and reaching out to those cold connections aka those people that don't know you but ultimately do need you so if you can't tell already i really really love cold sales i just do and the re one of the main reasons why I love cold sales is that there's absolutely nothing to lose. It's a really a low risk and low barrier to entry to get a uh, game to play. Because the fact of the matter is, is that the people who you're reaching out to don't even know you exist. And because they don't know you exist, this is a prime opportunity for you to come in and introduce yourself the way you want to be viewed. So let me give you an example, and this is going to speak truth to power with a lot of people who have grown and have developed over time and who have outgrown their old selves and outgrown their old networks. And this is just something that is really sensitive to me, but it's important that I mention it's like at the end of the day, like you probably will outgrow your hot network and your warm network. If you're growing, if you're changing, if you're investing in yourself, investing in your business, you're going to grow at an exponential rate. And the sad truth is that many people who knew you growing up or who were close to you and who were your friends and family, they may not even support you. Some of these people may be the least likely to support you. And that's been true to me. I mean, fortunately, like my immediate family, super, super tight, really supports me. But a lot of my former friends and associates, a lot of them didn't support anything I did. It was the people who barely knew me. It was the people who didn't know me who were my biggest supporters. Because when I introduced myself to these random people, people who I didn't know as like the CEO of my company or as this award-winning author or as this serial entrepreneur, that's who they viewed me as immediately. They immediately viewed my credibility as such. But a lot of people from my past or from my network, they saw me as like Little Craig or Little Craigy and they, and they could never picture me at this level of success. They always saw me and viewed me when I was struggling or when I didn't have anything to my name. and when they saw me rising up and developing and coming into my own, it made them feel some type of way. And it, it was, it initially kind of broke my heart and um, frustrated me when I would try to sell stuff to people who were in my hot and warm network and they didn't respond. So I had no choice but to reach out to people who were my cold contacts and just give them a pitch and see if they would bite the hook. And funny enough, a lot of them did. And so just realize that this cold network, I can't repeat this enough, offers you the biggest opportunity for growth because you never know who's going to be that random unknown person who's going to bite your hook, you know, take the bait and be one of your biggest and best customers. Like you have to get out of your shell. You have to get out of your comfort zone and you have to learn this art of cold selling because... The fact of the matter is that the majority of us aren't coming from privilege where we have all these like pre-baked insider uh, mega networks where we can just reach out to uh, one of our friends and get put onto a million dollar opportunity. Like that just doesn't happen to everybody. 
This is a skill that you must learn. You have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. It's it's hard. You know, there's going to be people who are never going to answer your emails. There are going to be people who reject you. But guess what? If you never start today, that answer is always going to be no. If you never reach out, you are re you're rejecting yourself if you don't go out and do cold sales. Just think about that. <laughs> so... Knowing that the automatic de facto answer is no, you may as well go out, shoot your shot, put your bid in, and see if people will uh, you know, buy your product, process, or service. It's really that simple, but just understand it's like you have to overcome your own mental limitations, get out your own way, and try, and shoot your shot, and see uh, when you hit those buckets, because I think it was MJ who, who talked about, hey, you know, I, I failed a lot, but like... I missed all the shots that I didn't take, <laughs> you know, you, you have to shoot your shot if you want to uh, make a sale. So uh, never forget that. So in some hot sales is selling the product or service to somebody that you directly have a connection with. Warm sales is selling to somebody who you have an indirect connection with. And cold selling is selling to somebody who you have zero connection with. And like I said before in the video, your, your greatest opportunity for growth is to sell to people who you have no relationship with because that offers the biggest opportunity of growth. Think about that iceberg principle. No, the, the, the part of the iceberg sticking out of the water is your hot and warm network. But the majority of the iceberg, which is below water, is your cold leads. And this is the opportunity for growth. And just never forget the answer is always no until you convert it into a yes. And the only way you convert it to a yes is by taking that cold approach head on and not being afraid to sell to people who don't know you exist. So my question for you today is, why do you think so many people are afraid of cold sales? I'm curious and would love to know your thoughts. Be sure to drop your comments below. Furthermore, if you want to become the entrepreneur of your life, you can start this process today by subscribing to this channel. Also be sure to click the notification bell to be alerted for whenever new content drops. See you next week.